हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेदर यू आर ए फ्रेशर और एक्सपीरियंस्ड आई टी एम्प्लॉय एट्टी परसेंट फेस द सेम आई टी करियर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड मोस्ट इवन डोंट रियलाइज इट अंटिल इट इज़ टू लेट एंड प्रॉब्लम्स बिकम्स वेरी बिग सो टुडे आई विल शेयर यू द टॉप फाइव मोस्ट कॉमन आई टी करियर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड आई गारंटी राइट नाउ यू आर फेसिंग वन और मोर ऑफ दोज प्रॉब्लम्स इन योर प्रेजेंट करियर फॉर श्योर by the end of this video you will definitely find your career problem and remember as my friend albert said a problem defined well is a problem half solved hey my name is happy and having more than 15 years of experience in it industry now i help candidates in cracking technical interviews so let's start with the problem number 5 and yes wait for the number one problem because if you solve the number one problem then all your it career problems will be solved number 5 and that is a very common problem that is lack of career direction or you can say which skill to learn next to succeed in it industry that you have to decide Right now we have so much information you have YouTube Google chat GPT everything is there too many skills too many advices too many road maps creating confusion now it is very hard to decide as a fresher or even as experienced which direction to choose which road to select for example suppose you will decide let's start learning .net or java or react angular any any technology then someone will say let's it's the time of python and ai and then you will decide okay so let's learn python but in the it companies you will not find the projects of python very easily they are very rare therefore you will not get the job so what is the purpose then what is the purpose of learning python another very common example of this lack of career direction is listen carefully you don't know whether you should master your current technology and go deep and deep in your current technology or you should try to become the full stack developer so that is again the great confusion that is the problem of lack of career direction because if you will choose one wrong path then later going back is very difficult all your work learning experience will be wasted so if you are facing this problem then write the lack of career direction in the comments by writing first you are accepting your problem very strongly and that that is the damn problem and you have to solve it then you can start learning for the solution don't start random picking off the skills and wasting your time in learning them without clear goal okay so although this problem is very specific to specific individual for example for someone angular is good for other person react is good but i keep on posting uh, the videos on this topic for career guidance so that you can easily choose the best one for you okay next problem problem is if you are preparing for interviews then your number one problem is you are not getting enough interview calls this can happen more with freshers but also with experienced to one sometimes see if you will get more interview calls the chances of selections are more offers will be more and ultimately you will get the right package more package so now there are two types of re reason behind this less interview call first are external factors like market condition is not good and you can't do anything about it but the good news is that it is only 10 to 20% reason if market is good 20% jobs are more if market is bad 20% jobs are less even in real recessions some people are getting dot net java front end interview calls then why not you are getting second reason for not getting interview call is what is the main reason the big reason and that is reason number 
maybe your resume is not good second maybe your notice period is more third you are missing some important skills in your resume and last maybe you are applying to the wrong jobs and not applying properly so these are the main reasons for not getting interview calls and let me know in the comments which you see as the biggest problem for you now in this situation to decide what to do is very difficult these problems can be fixed with a proper with the proper guidance and again i keep on making content about these individual topics in my channel and in my interview boot camps in details okay all right so now after this the next problem is number 3 for the it job aspirants and it employees again and that is knowledge implementation or you can say lack of uh, real world latest technology projects for you to work on okay for example we start learning something based on the trend based on what is present on youtube what is suggested on linkedin what all are saying but the main problem comes after learning and that is where to implement the learning the concepts the new technology in real projects because after learning if we don't implement then we will forget it for sure so if this is your problem then like right lack of the real projects in the comments make this your main goal for that first write and accept this problem and then work on it all right now it is the time of number 2 problem for everyone which is uh, not just for the it employees for everyone and that is salary that is the biggest thing right nothing to explain but still most people don't accept this let me ask you a question do you want to be the highly knowledgeable person with less salary in industry or you want to have the specific knowledge with the high salary if your answer is less salary then stop listening to me in fact uh, don't listen me because i don't uh, favor this less salary thing the biggest problem is most employees just find ways to convince themselves that they are getting the average or good salary in the market and they don't need more but the smart ones always looking at things which inspire them to get the more salary for example smart people will just heard this last line and just now they are automatically charged for the high salary it's just the matter of perspective okay let me share a very ex small example of salary see when i started my career in 2007 the big it companies tcs wipro infosys offering the 3 lakh salaries to the fresher and now even after so many years 20 18 20 years they are still offering 3 to 4 lakhs to freshers getting my point college fees doubled everything cost of living three times everything increasing but not the salary but now listen this is the interesting part at that time 2007 uh, software architects or software engineer with more than 10 years of experience their salary was around 10 to 15 lakhs per year only but now it is 30 40 50 is even 60 lakhs so now we have a wide range of salary to cover for, go from 3 lakhs starting to 50 lakhs how you will cover this wide range for this learning is not enough even given giving interviews is not enough after giving interview selecting the right companies and selecting the best offer letter is also very very important so if salary is your problem then write salary in the comments and first accept the problem and then you will be more focused in solving your problem okay for that also i for salary also i keep on posting the videos i keep on spreading the awareness so so keep watching next is the biggest problem and there if you will solve this problem then all your problems will be automatically solved the problem is fear of interviews and to not accept this problem that you don't have it you will give many excuses 
maybe you will say my salary is already good i don't want to change or you will say i am satisfied with my current company or you will say i have less experience i have more experience i have some bond i have notice period more many many excuses are there for not attending the interviews and yes this is my favorite excuse that i am waiting for the right time for interviews i am waiting for the appraisal i and, the, and then i will give the interviews but but the truth is you are scared you have fear of giving interviews fear of rejection fear of failure fear of change and that is normal but the point is to grow one must have to face their fears one have to go through the uncomfortable zone of interviews remember like to grow in a school or in college you have to go to the next class you have to give the exams right in the same way to grow in it career it companies you have to give interviews sometimes internal interviews sometimes even external interviews now if you have this fear of interviews then write in the comments and then we will solve it now to overcome this fear of interviews from my side you know i keep on posting interview questions on different technologies and i always post in question and answer format because i don't believe in just learning learning without goal or purpose is a waste of time my top it career life learning is learn to earn more otherwise enjoy okay and my mission is same i will make you to get out of fear of interviews and earning earn more for now first just accept one thing whether you are looking for you are looking for change or not doesn't matter giving interviews doesn't mean at all that you are looking for change don't accept the offer letter okay giving interview means that you are learning and then presenting your knowledge in front of the experienced interviewer and believe me that is the best way to learn okay so you know this if you can't present your knowledge it is of no use and interviews are free interviews will not only grow your knowledge but also your communication skills and your conf confidence also right trust me if you overcome the fear of interviews then nobody can stop you and all your it career problems will be solved all right that's it my friend finally i wish you all the best for your career and for your interviews